Hey guys, my name is Vishwas and welcome to a beginner's guide on authenticating Angular applications. In this introductory video, I'm going to explain the stack we are going to work with, list the prerequisites for the series and show you a demo of the application we are going to build. Let's get started. The choice of stack is the main stack. It's a free and open source stack and is a popular choice to build web applications. We will be using MongoDB for storing data, Express Framework to create RESTful APIs, Angular as our front-end framework, and Node which is the execution environment. As of this recording, Angular is version 5 and is the version we will be using. I am confident though that the application should work with future releases of Angular as well. Now in order to make the most of the series, it is essential that you have a knowledge of some of the existing technologies. HTML, CSS and JavaScript kind of go without saying. But what you really need to have is a basic understanding of MongoDB, Angular and Node. This course is going to focus on how to authenticate Angular applications and not focus on the concepts of the individual underlying technologies. You definitely don't have to be an expert, but a basic knowledge of the main stack will really help you. Now, if you're unaware of some of the technologies, feel free to go through my channel for tutorials on Angular, Node and MongoDB and then resume this course. All right, now let's take a look at the application we will be building. It's a pretty simple one and I call it Event Hub. It's an application that lists the events which we can consider hypothetically to be happening around you. So when you navigate to the root of the application, for our example, localhost 4200, you get redirected to the events page slash events. Here, you're displayed a list of events which can be viewed by anyone visiting the site. We also have a members tab which has the special events that can only be accessed if the user is authenticated or in simpler terms, logged in. So if you're not logged in and try to click on the members tab, we are redirected to the login screen. Once you log in, by default, you're taken to the members page. So a logged in user has access to both the regular and the special events. Also, you can notice that once you log in, the login and register buttons are replaced with the logout button. When you click on logout, you're navigated away from the members tab to the regular events tab. If you're a first time user, you can also register as a new user in which case, you would be navigated to the members page. So that's the application we are going to build from scratch. As I mentioned, this course is a beginner's guide to put you on the path to learning about authenticating Angular applications. At the end of this course, you should be able to make use of the knowledge to build medium or large scale applications with authentication. I will also give you a few tips on how you can improve the application we will be building so that you can apply what you learn in this course. And as always, the source code is on GitHub. So to summarize the requirements, the regular events can be viewed by any user, whereas the special events can only be viewed by the registered members on our site, or in other terms, authenticated users. All right, with this introduction, let's get started.